In this tutorial I'm going to look at the composition of the air in today's world, how this has changed in the last two or three hundred years due to human influences on the atmosphere, and how the early atmosphere changed over millions of years to today's atmosphere. Now the first thing you must know is the composition of the atmosphere at the moment and the percentage of nitrogen which is the largest percentage of the air is 78 percent or around about four-fifths of the air. Around about one-fifth of the air or 21 percent is oxygen whereas only a small tiny percentage of the air is carbon dioxide this is 0.035% shown on this diagram as that small brown sliver just down here. These are some of the other learning objectives that you have to learn. Once again, the foundation is in white and the higher level is in the purple colour. Please pause it if you want to have a good read. The carbon cycle helps us to understand how the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air has remained almost constant for the last few million years. The carbon cycle really is a balance between different processes that either put carbon dioxide into the air or take it out of the air. For example, photosynthesis takes carbon dioxide out of the air and fixes it into plants. That would reduce the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air, but this is balanced largely by respiration, by animals and by plants which put carbon dioxide into the air and increase the percentage of carbon dioxide. A third process which affects the carbon dioxide in the air is combustion of fuels. This will put carbon dioxide into the air and is one of the reasons why you see on this next slide there is a rise in carbon dioxide percentage and here you can see that the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air has risen from around 0.03% in 1960 up to nearly 0.04% in 2010. We're expected to remember that the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air is around about 0.035% however. So, barring the small changes each year with uh, more carbon dioxide being produced in the summer by photosynthesis and less in the winter because there's less photosynthesis going on, why is this rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide happening? Well, there are two main reasons. One of them is deforestation. And that means the cutting down of trees, for example, in the Amazon rainforest. If there's less trees, they use up less carbon dioxide, um, and therefore the carbon dioxide is allowed to rise in the atmosphere. Also, a small amount of extra carbon dioxide is produced by the burning of the stumps and the debris. Also, there's an increased population in the world, and that doesn't mean that there's more people breathing, it just means that there's more people who are burning more fuel, and that's producing more and more carbon dioxide by combustion. You also need to know how the present day atmosphere evolved from that atmosphere which was around the Earth when the Earth was first formed. This again covers the learning objectives you need to know from the specification. Please pause this if you want to have a good read. The early atmosphere was thought to have been degassed from volcanoes and this meant that the early atmosphere was largely water vapour carbon dioxide and ammonia. The water vapour, as the earth cooled, condensed as oceans and this reduced the concentration of water vapour in the air quite considerably. Much of the carbon dioxide in the air then dissolved in the oceans and that reduced the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air as well. The next thing to happen was the production of photosynthetic plants and these formed in the oceans in the form of algae. These were able to use carbon dioxide from the air with the energy from the sun 
and made oxygen. So the concentration of oxygen then started to increase. Ammonia was converted into nitrogen gas, N2, and because that's very stable, the concentration of nitrogen increased to its today's level. So from an early atmosphere that was rich in carbon dioxide and water vapour with a little ammonia, we now have today's atmosphere which is rich in nitrogen, a very unreactive gas, has a reasonable percentage of oxygen gas but very very small amounts of carbon dioxide and water vapour. So in summary, the early atmosphere was produced by the degassing of volcanoes and that made an atmosphere rich in water vapour and carbon dioxide. The percentage of water vapour reduced when the earth cooled down and it condensed to form the oceans and then the percentage of carbon dioxide also reduced when it dissolved into that ocean water. The percentage of nitrogen increased because it was made from small amounts of ammonia in the atmosphere but as it was stable and unreactive it soon increased to its today's level of 78%. Then photosynthetic organisms or simple plants evolved in the oceans and they were able to convert carbon dioxide from the air into oxygen which then increased due to photosynthesis 